Created me a clean heart and purify me, purify me. But how does that happen? That's the trick. How do we get a clean heart? It happens two ways. It happens by recognizing that God wants to do that for us. All of the psalmist prayers are really echoes of what the psalmist has learned about God's action. And so when we know that God can do something, um, we should be willing to ask for it. How does it actually happen? Um, I think we get a a big hint of it in the gospel today. uh, When Jesus says, uh, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it, it remains just a single grain. Unless something is given up, it can't be something bigger. If we want a full and compassionate heart, a clean heart, a heart that's open to God, there are things that have to get out of the way. That's why we're in this season of Lent, is to do the things that prepare ourselves for God to do the cleaning. Uh, It's not our prayer that does the cleaning. It's not our fasting that does the cleaning. It's not our almsgiving that does the cleaning. It's uh, like that old recovery uh, saying, move the feet, the heart will follow. We do the things because it gets us, in a sense, to a place where we're really, really open to have our hearts made clean. We're really willing to let whatever it is that needs to die, fall to the ground and die, and to watch God bring something new to life. We're heading down the slope of the other side of Lent uh, towards the celebration of the great mysteries of our faith. And there is no greater mystery than the mystery that's encased in today's gospel. That unless a grain of wheat fall to the ground and die, it remains a single grain. But if it dies, if it dies, it's open to new life. Prepare yourself and then invite God to create a clean heart in you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.